Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I want to be uh, cognizant of everyone's time. Girls, you want to come out out here? Because you guys are like kind of the stars. I've got the Britney Spears microphone, but you guys are kind of the stars. So, okay, you guys can run around as much as you want. Because the more they look at you, the less they look at me. So you go ahead and do whatever you got to do. Okay? Oh, we're not running around anymore, are we? Yeah, I didn't think so. That all of a sudden stopped it. Um, thanks for coming out, everyone. I'm Stephen Green. Uh, I'm with uh, Ignite Volleyball. And uh, we wanted to run this clinic. One thing with our new club is we want to make sure as much as possible we are giving back to uh, the coaches. And of course, we're always looking for new coaches to come in. So we want to make sure that we're doing a lot of work um, with, the, with the different school boards and uh, the coaches and the teachers to um, just give back in every way we can, okay? So uh, in your package, I'll just let you guys uh, know what's in there. So you've got a bag, you've got a t-shirt, wear it proud, it's all good. You've got a water bottle in there. Um, and then of course you also have a package. So this is the, this is just the notes for today, okay? I probably won't uh, go by script in the presentation because uh, I'll want to kind of go in different directions. Uh, but all the key things we're working on tonight is in there, okay? Um, also in there, if you are um, if you are a teacher and you do um, you are involved through a volleyball program, shameless plug. There are uh, copies there for our youth programs. Uh, the girls are actually wearing the shirts for them. Okay, so uh, starting October twenty sixth, I want to say, we're running our five week program for Spike, Fire, and Magic. That's the age four. Yes, we start them at age four. Uh, up to age 12 program, okay? A lot of fun, okay? We actually, um, we run the net for the little guys. We run it down this high right here, okay? So they always have a lot of success. If you look at our website, there's some demo sessions we've done, and you can see what it all looks like, okay? If you have questions as we go along, just throw up your hand. Okay, so a couple things I want to mention, just housekeeping. So we've got three great sponsors that have been working with us and partners. So uh, in your package, you've got coupons and your name thing. You've got uh, a 10% off coupon for Pita Pit down at Fairway Road. Only Fairway Road because they're the ones that are supporting us. So help yourself when you go there. Um, there's stuff in your package with pens and the T-shirts, all that stuff. Uh, that's been given to us by um, all corporate um, uh what do they call all corporate printing and branding? So uh, if you want to use them, they're up in Waterloo. And Kristen, who's shying at the back, put up your hand, Kristen. Kristen is um, our physio that works with our club. So the one thing we wanted to make sure of when we started our club is that we had athletes who understood volleyball that would be working with our athletes. Okay, so it's good to have a physio, an RMT. You're you're going to meet the chiropractor tonight who know volleyball, who know me who understand what the program's all about, okay? So um, by all means, if you have any questions for Kristen, we also have a Kirsten here. We'll try to keep that straight. I'm not very good at it, but I know who they are. Um, if you have any questions for Kristen, please ask her. Uh, she's great, and she definitely knows the sport, so. Okay, um, so just introductions. So I'm Stephen Green, like I said. Um, I've been coaching for, we were just talking, there's three generations of athletes I've coached over there. <laughs> uh, so I've coached for about 22 years now. And um, my bio is on the website. Uh, I'm a level two here in Canada, level three in the US. Uh, I'm also an official. I've coached tons of tournaments, probably more than we ever should. Um, tons of athletes. Uh, I started these same programs. I started at uh, KW Predators. So that's where I came from. And that's when I started this club. And uh, yeah, all the rest of the details are on the website. So uh, we also have Kirsten. Kirsten is one of my former players. Uh, she has also coached with me. Uh, the one thing we try to tell our athletes is give back to the sport, okay? So when all the old farts like me go away, we've got someone else to replace us, okay? So Kirsten's done a great job of that. She's coached several athletes, several teams, um, and she's now with me on this venture with this new club. Uh, I've already introduced Kristen. Kristen, um, and if I've got your bios wrong here, guys, you just speak up, okay? Because I'm going pretty quick. Um, oh, and uh, with Kirsten, by the way, her and I, uh, with the one team we had three straight finishes in Ontario. Yeah, three straight, 
forth in Canada at 17U, a lot of success, okay? Um, Kristen uh, was with, last year in the past, Waterbee Tigers. Were you ever a predator? You were never a predator? Okay. Um, Kristen, you played at uh, Buffalo, four years, full scholarship, right? That's what happens when you're six five. Schools money, okay? And Oya, who I actually ran into, how did we find each other like a week ago? At the sushi bar, of course. Where else do you run into former athletes but the sushi bar, right? Um, so Oya now was my very first um, group I coached when I first moved to Waterloo in 2003. Um, she was like this tall. And we shared a story last night. We had coffee and uh, she said, you always used to sub me in because I can only hit it, I can only serve it well enough to get it just over the net and the other teams couldn't pass it. I'm like, sounds like something I would do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so Oya's actually going to be joining our club as um, our chiropractor, okay, because again, she knows the sport, she's played the sport, and that will definitely help our athletes. So if you have uh, any questions about that part of it, uh, and she's real smart, she's actually still doing school, you're, a ma you're doing a master's in something? Yeah, so she's smart, so she knows her stuff. Um, if you have any questions throughout tonight, ask. If you want to walk around to see what we're doing, by all means. If you want to take pictures, go ahead. If you want to take video, whatever you'd like. We are going to be, we are recording this, and we'll make it available to you after the fact, okay? Um, we are presenting just ideas. So I've been to a ton of clinics. Just remember that we're just presenting ideas, okay? Make it your own as much as you can, right? Because if, if you start to take someone else's stuff and not make it your own, your athletes can smell that a mile away, okay? You can ask these guys. They've all had different coaches. Athletes know, okay? So always just remember, make it your own as you go through. Um, we're going to try to do tonight some different levels. So we've got uh, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old. How old are you, Sid? Nine? How old are you? Yep. Uh, Kira or Aubrey? I'm going to get this going to be bad. Uh, if I point, it's not rude. It's because I forgot. You are how old, Aubrey? How old are you? Nine. Okay. So w we were joking earlier. This is going to be the before, and these guys are going to demo the after. Okay. So we're going to try to do uh, a, a bit of a cross section. Because, um, like I said in the email I sent to everyone, I'd like to at least show what it looks like at this level and then what it could possibly look like after, okay? And like I said, if you have any, if you have your social media, feel free to post about us tonight. We are not about the shameless plug in here, so we're good. Uh, Ignite Volleyball, real quick. So uh, probably a lot of you don't know who we are and what we are. So uh, like I said, I've coached with Preds for 12 years. I helped find that, found that as well. Um, last year on my year off, I decided to start a new volleyball club. Okay, so uh, what we're doing, we have a five-year plan that's on our website as well. Uh, we're not doing it traditionally, where we're just starting with club teams. What we're actually doing is we're starting with a lot of the grassroots stuff and then adding club teams every year. Okay, that's actually how I sold it to my wife, because she would not let me start a full club right away. And she's like, no, you got to do it in pieces. So this is just me staying married as well. So, um so this year we've got the little guys program. Next year we're going to add two more. We're going to add two club teams, and we're going to add a new club team every single year. Okay, so it is a club team that's here in KW, and uh, that's the plan for the club. Uh, we want to make sure we put all of our coaches at the center of everything we do. Okay, so uh, that's why we're doing stuff like this clinics. Uh, we just want to make sure that our coaches are really, really well taken care of. And from that, if that happens, we know that the athlete experience will be exceptional, okay? Other than that, there's more clinics coming up. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll stop talking about the club. Okay, so you know about the clinic details. So let's get right into it. So first thing I want to talk about, um, just forearm pass and, and ready position. So the one thing we mentioned was we want to talk about not only just how to forearm pass, but how to volley a ball and the movement. Sometimes the movement gets lost a little bit, okay? So if I've got these guys, come on over here, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get you to line up on, we want to face the coaches. So can you line up on the yellow line for me? And I'm going to get you guys over here to help out too. 
Uh, that yellow line. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll take the we'll take the back one. The back one's good. All right. Cool. All right. So we're gonna do ready position. Okay. So who's done this? Okay. What's ready position? Show me. Okay. So when we do ready position, a couple of things we want to look for. Show me your ready position again. Okay. So we always say we want to beg for money. Okay. Beg for money. Okay. So as the kids get older, we we want to make sure that their hands are in this neutral position, we call it, because as they get older, they're going to be allowed to volley the first contact. So we want to teach it right, right from the beginning. Okay. So we're begging for money. The other thing we want to work on, we're in the we're in the video game generation or the phone generation, posture. Now I know her, so I can just do this, no big deal. So bring your shoulders back. Bring your shoulders back. Yep, so you're gonna bring it right back. Do you guys want a demo for me? Okay. So let's just see we'll see what these girls do here. Go ahead. This ready this ready position. Yep. There we go. So if you've got your back straight, okay, is your back hurting already? It should. Okay. So <laughs> Okay, so we want to be begging for money, and if you look at Kristen and Kirsten down here, they've got their back straight, and they've got their straight-up posture, okay? So you can almost put a stick right down your shirt, and it's going to be straight, okay? The other thing we want to see, and I'm going to have you do the exact opposite. So we call this, what did we used to call this? I can't remember when it was open like this. Duck feet. So we don't want duck feet, okay? We want pigeon toe. Show me pigeon toe. And do it with the jumps, too. Let's see the jump. Right into pigeon toe. Good, okay? So this is probably opposite in basketball, I think we do. Do we do duck feet in basketball, maybe? Or soccer? I don't know. But pigeon toe is where we want to be, okay? And we'll get Kristen and Kirsten a demo as well. So with pigeon toe, what that allows them to do is it allows them to keep their shoulders forward, okay? And uh, when they need to move forward to the ball, it's a lot easier. So show me duck feet. Okay, now put your hips down. Get your, bring your hips down a little bit. Beg for money. Now, is it easy to move forward? Try to move forward. That, yeah, it looks kind of funny. So come on back. Show me that ready position again. Show me with pigeon toe. Pigeon toe. The other pigeon toe. Inside, inside. Point your toes in a little bit. There you go. Good. So if we are pigeon toe, if we are pigeon toe, and she's going to do posture, it's easier to fall forward to a ball, okay, with some balance. So, here's what you guys are going to do. When I say go, you're going to touch all four walls. Go. This is actually the toughest part of the volleyball thing tonight, touching all four walls. When I say stop, you're going to show me ready position. Keep going, keep going, keep going, going. Stop. Show me ready position. And then this is where you can correct them. So, pigeon toe, show me pigeon toe. Show me pi Oh, she's even got the hop down. Perfect. Good. And we're begging for money, right? Because we don't have any. Good. Keep going. Touch all four walls. Go, go, go. Okay. This time when I say stop, you're going to yell as loud as you can. Ignite. Stop. Good. Is everyone ready position? Ready position. There you go. Got it. Good. And you've got it. Are we good? Okay, good. Okay. Touch all the exit signs. Go. What? The exit signs, I said. Oh. Stop. Let me see ready position. And what do you have to yell? And pigeon toe. Yes. Okay, good. Touch all the basketball hoops. Go. Just kidding. Touch all the touch all the pads. Go. All the pads. All the pads. Okay, when I say stop, show me ready position. Yell ignite. Go. Good. All right. Come on in. And last person has to do 50 push-ups. Go, 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 go. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, can you just grab the ball cart for me, the softballs, please? You guys tired? Where are you going? You've been here 10 minutes. Oh, good. I like that. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, so forearm pass. So um, I'll just show you what we look for on forearm pass, okay? That's the ready position part. If that needs some oil, I stole that from Craig from last time. He gave me. Uh, so we use a we use a couple of modified balls for our youth program. Okay, so you've probably seen the volley light ball. Okay, doesn't really hurt. It doesn't hurt, does it? That's good. I'm gonna ask Abby all the questions tonight. Um, this one is just a Tashikara ball. It's 
cute. It's got hearts and shamrocks. It's really, really soft. Okay. So with this age group, that's what we would use. Uh, for our four to six year old program, we have an, an even different ball and it's even softer. It doesn't hurt at all. So, okay. So forearm pass. So show me that ready position again. And I'll get the, uh, I'll get Kirsten and Kirsten to demonstrate as well. So show me ready position. Got your pigeon toe happening. Can I get this? Yep. Okay. So forearm pass. Ready? Repeat after me. Shoulder shrug. Elbows locked. Thumbs down, 45 degree angle. Good. Okay. Relax. All right. Take your, you guys right handed? Cool. Take your right hand, put it out here, like you want money. It's all about the money, man. Okay. Take your left hand, shake your right hand. This is where we always check left and right, right? Abby, you always want to shake your right hand. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. For this, this one, we're okay. So shake your right hand. Abby, shake your other right hand. Abby, shake your There you go. Good. Shake your left hand. Shake your right hand. Shake your left foot. Mm. Lasso. Right hand. Inside your left hand. Okay? Like that. Put the meaty part together. Okay? But do not, do not do this. I just want right into left and then meaty part together. So we definitely want to avoid this because when they, as they get older, if they have to dive for a ball, that get sticky and sweaty and kind of gross okay and it's slower to separate so right hand into left hand meaty part together got it okay start again ready position good okay shrug your shoulders like you don't know why the heck you're here okay um lock your elbows sorry shoulder shrug <laughs> elbows locked <laughs> thumbs down Remember how we showed you put your hands and 45, do you guys know what 45 degree angle is? Okay, point straight out in front like this. There you go, done, that was easy, okay? So when we teach this, what we wanna see from them, um, you guys wanna do it one more time? Shoulders shrugged, elbows locked, thumbs down, 45, good. So we always want their shoulders shrugged, okay? Cause that creates a lot of tension, okay? Um, I'll just show you what kind of tension we're talking about. Kirsten loves this demonstration, you wanna go far and pass? So when they get older, this is how we this is how we check to see if they've got the right tension. We push. She's smiling. She's got to be. She's probably smiling. Yeah. <laughs> so so that's how we check to see if they've got a strong platform for their arms. Okay. Ready position. Shoulder shrug. Elbows locked. Thumbs down. Forty five degree angle. Good. Boom. Forearm pass. Just like that. Easy enough. Any questions? All right. Cool. So what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna put it to practice and see if, if they can do it that way. Um, okay, can I have you guys uh, two line them passing? Okay, so what we're gonna do, you guys are gonna come over here with me. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have you go here. I'm gonna have you go right behind her and you're gonna come over here. No, come on back, Abby. Uh, green line, good, come on over here. Green line right here, and then come on over here. Good, 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 good. Right behind Sydney. And now I'm going to move you guys even back further. So you're going to stay where you are. You're going to come back, come back, come back, and you're going to come right back here. Okay? Keep coming back. Keep coming back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Good. Okay. I'm going to throw this guy's up, this up to you guys. Okay? So they're going to show ready position. Okay? So Abby and Sydney, ready position. And you guys are just going to be waiting. Okay? So the one thing we want to do too, um, the skills are really important, but we always we always want to keep them moving somehow, some way. Okay, so what we're gonna have the coaches do to start, they're gonna toss it a little bit higher, okay, because they're gonna struggle to move the ball and understand that read. They're gonna toss it a little bit higher, let it bounce once, and all they're gonna do is move to the ball and catch it. That's all they're gonna do. Just gonna catch it. Okay, he's just gonna catch it, okay? If you have athletes who have never played before, they're brand new to the sport, this is a perfect way to see if they're actually getting to the ball and they're understanding that part, okay? So ready position, when the ball comes in, it's gonna bounce once, you're gonna catch it, you're gonna toss it back to your coach, okay? You're going to run, touch the net, and run all the way back to the end line and wait your next turn, okay? Any questions? You guys are good? Okay, when you're ready. 
Well, and where do you guys want to catch it? Where do you want to catch it? Right, right here in front of your belly button, okay? Back to your coach. Now run, 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 run. You guys go up, you're next, you're next. Now go touch the end line. When you're ready, go ahead, yep. And wait, right there, good. And catch it, catch it low. Good, and then you're up, Abby, go ahead. Good. Good, so the coach is gonna give them feedback as it goes along, okay? You ready? Now, what's the one thing that we're missing that your teams probably don't do and up to 18 and under, we have to keep harping on them. What is it that they're not doing? Moving the feet's one. There's one other thing. Talking, okay? Okay, stop, stop. As soon as the coach releases the ball, you're gonna yell as loud as you can, mine! Can I hear the loudest mine you can do? One, two, three. Maybe a grade two boy. Okay, a little louder. One, two, three. <laughs> Batter, good. Go. Oh. Okay. As long as they're moving to the ball and getting there, the catch part of it is okay. Okay. Okay, stop. Kirsten, toss me a ball. Okay, when you guys catch the ball, this is what I want to see. Show me ready position. Show me forearm pass. Shoulders shrugged, elbows locked, thumbs down. 40. You guys remember all that, right? When you guys catch it, I want you to catch it right out in front of you like this with your bum behind the ball. Repeat after me, bum behind ball. Good, go. Oh, bum behind ball. That's like bum under the ball. Bum behind ball. Bum behind ball. Oh, Abby, where is your bum? Hey, you guys got to keep running. You got to run, touch the wall. Go, 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 go. Go fast, go fast. There, we got the mind down. Got the mind down. Loud, loud, loud. Oh, you got to come back. You got to touch the wall. You got to touch the wall. Touch the wall. Touch the wall. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Only boys cheat. Oh. There you go. You got the call. As much as possible, I'm going to switch in a second to let them actually pass the ball, okay? It all breaks down, okay? As much as possible, though, in Canada, we're really good at running drills, but we're not really good at just letting them try things out and make mistakes and just coach on the fly, okay? So I'm going to switch it really quick in a sec, and I'm just going to try to give constant feedback, bum behind ball. I'm going to tell them feet first fast in a second, and just keep talking to them that way. Okay, stop, stop, face me. Ready position, shoulders shrugged, elbows locked, thumbs down, 45 degree, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I, straight out, straight out, there you go, good. Now you're gonna bump the ball. Okay, come here for one quick sec, show me forearm pass. Okay, show me forearm pass. See this, forearm pass. See this part right here in your arms? See that little groove? Anyone go to church? Okay, did you know that God made people to play volleyball. This little groove right in here, that's where the ball goes, right there, okay? So right in that little area, that's where you... Ready position, forearm pass, good. Bum behind ball, and feet first fast, get to the ball quick. Go, 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 go. Run the drill, go. Call the ball. Okay, now you got run, touch the net, run and touch the net, run and touch the net, run and touch the net. Uh, we're, you're bumping now. They're actually bumping. Yep. Okay, hands, hands below belly button. Hands below your belly button. Hands below your belly button. There you go. She got it. Okay, so we just kind of throw little key things in there. So hand below, hands below belly button. Okay, because the second we saw them all up here, we know that's where they've got to make the change. There you go, Sydney's got it. 
Did you hear what Kirsten just said? She said, face me when you pass. Okay, so she's starting to see the kind of the kids go sideways with the ball. Face where you're passing the ball. Okay, so as much as possible, what we want to do is throw in little things that they'll remember. They'll remember bum behind ball, hands below belly button, stuff like that. There we go. Run, 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 run. Good. I, this is just a simple passing drill, but I have them running as much as possible because the more they're tired, the less they're going to yuck, 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 yuck when you're trying to talk, right? And it's good for them, right? I don't know. I think so. She looks tired. It's great, right? Get them tired. It's all good. Now, if you have more kids, you can have a little more fun with this. Okay, stop. Stop. Here's what you're going to do. I've been coaching a long time, so sometimes I, I say funny things that I think is funny, the parents think is funny. They haven't got a clue, but they do it. So here's what you're going to do. If you've got, like, 12 kids, how many, how many people do you have in your gym at one time? 12, 24, 28, a whole bunch. Great. This is a good one you can do with them, okay? You can be in the middle. You can run three lines, okay, if you wanted to just like this. Here's what you guys going to do. Show me ready position. Shoulder shrugs, elbows locked, thumbs down. Forward. I constantly do that just so when they're facing me, I just throw it at them, right? Because they'll remember all this stuff. Okay. Forearm pass. Okay. As soon as you bump the ball to your coach, okay, you're going to drop to your stomach. Only use your elbow. <laughs> Only use your elbows on your stomach to get to the center line, and then barrel roll back to the wall. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, so, oh <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's the barrel roll part. Do you want me to show, you want to show me the other one? We actually call this Vietnam. I had a coach one time that was in Vietnam, and we did Vietnam with just elbows. They haven't got a clue, but here's some remember. So that's Vietnam right there. Sydney will know it, okay? So, run the drill again. Okay, go, get ready to pass. As soon as you pass, and I'll help you guys out a little bit. Perfect. Drop to your stomach. Drop to your stomach. Just your elbows to the net. Good. Go, 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 go. Good. Go. And she can go. And then you're going to barrel roll back here. So, four people, not real good. You got a bunch of people. This is good. Okay? This just keeps them doing stuff. At this age, So we do Vietnam with our four and five year olds. They're the only four and five year olds in the area that know what Vietnam is. So good. Okay, drop. Oh, dr oh, nice try. Nice. See that? They won't notice me. Aha! Uh -huh. Got him. There we go. Okay. Well, what do you got to call out? What did you forget to call? What did you forget to call? Okay. Okay, stop. There we go. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You guys are going to do Vietnam all the way over to Tammy. Okay, and I'm going to work with these girls right here. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Okay, go. Vietnam all the way over there. Good, go, 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 go. Or, there's other things we do with them too. Stop. You can only use your feet. You can't use your arms. Go. So, this will take about five minutes. I'll work with these guys. Do you guys want to go pass? <laughs> She's almost there. She's doing good. Sydney's cheating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you're doing passing, depending if you're doing serve, receive, or defense, um, you guys will show me ready position. I'll just I'll just hit out of out of uh, two. <sighs> just from right here. I'm not gonna hit hard. I just I just come over to the green line. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can come out of six, Kirsten. Sorry. Okay, so ready position. So what you're gonna see with these guys, um, and it's the same for boys and girls. I should say that all this stuff. The only difference between boys and girls, past grade nine, I would say, is going to be the speed, okay? Everything else is pretty much the same. 
how they dive is very different. Girls, we teach barrel roll. Uh, boys, we teach um, just cool dive to the ball. That's different. But forearm pass, it's all the same thing. Okay. So if they're right here, and again, just simple, just simple forearm pass, ready position. Okay. Um, feet are always shoulder width apart. So is there grade seven, eight group? Okay, this is what they're going to be taught. Uh, feet are shoulder width apart. Kirsten's got neutral, bang on. Um, Kristen's pretty much, she's got about 45 degrees on her hands. That's an okay thing, okay? Uh, I'm just going to hit an easy down ball, okay? Good. So as they get older, like I said, they forget to call the ball, right? Whether you're four years old or I don't know how, I can't remember how old you are, Kristen, but yeah. It's <laughs> um, so it's, it's an ongoing, it's a behavior that we try to teach, right? Okay, ready? So you're going to watch them in ready position. Another cue that we use, stop and pass. Okay, stop and pass. It's very difficult to pass a ball when you're running. There is a thing called a run through, but that's a more advanced move. But stop and pass. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. We talk about separating upper body and lower body. If you look in your handout, there's a really there's some cool pictures in there of forearm pass. Okay, the one that I'll bring to your attention, top left hand corner, top right hand corner. So that's Georgia McNabb. She was my libero, I think a year older than Oya actually when we were at Tigers. She was probably one of the best liberos I've ever had because she understood upper body and lower body. So if you look at those two pictures with her, top left hand corner, top right hand corner, she always sacrificed her lower body to get her upper body in position, okay? Arms are always, if you look at, especially that top right-hand corner, that's a perfect picture. Shoulders shrugged, elbows locked, thumbs down, not 45, she needs to angle to it, but her upper body just never, ever changes, okay? You look at all those pictures in there, that's, uh, that's what those guys are doing. So we'll have a look here. Good. Uh, bum, a bum behind ball. Okay, we always talk about hips down. Okay, you're going to see that from them. Okay, so you saw Kirsten move to the ball and angle. Come on over here, Kirsten. Uh, just face the, uh, face the coaches. So when you're talking to your older kids, okay, uh, just forearm pass for me. We used to teach angle hands. So if the ball is moving too fast like that one was, she had to what we call leave her midline and pass. So we used to say angle your hands, but here's what used to happen. When the keyword was angle hands, this would happen. That's not what we want, okay? We always talk now about angling shoulders, okay? So when you've got, as the ball gets faster with the older kids, it's angle shoulders to the ball, okay? Because when she does that, now everything goes, okay? So it's always angle shoulders. Any questions about that? Okay. You're also going to hear the term midline, passing your midline, okay? One of the pitchers there, uh, bottom right-hand corner-ish, Karch Karai, he's got a beach hat on. You're going to see an orange line through him. That was not a bad printer. That was showing the midline, okay? That's where you always want to pass the ball as much as possible. A couple more. Good. So see, uh, uh, Kristen just did what Georgia did in that picture, top right-hand corner. She adjusted her lower body to get her upper body in position. Kirst just did that, dropped her lower body, and her upper body did not change. Okay, I'll do one more each, and then we'll move on. Good. Crossover of your feet is never a good thing unless you're blocking. Okay? So one thing Kristen just did there exceptionally well, she shuffled to the ball. Okay? The reason why we never want the kids to um, cross their feet is we want their hips down. Yes, you guys do this. You guys look a lot better doing it. So if we want their hips down to pass the ball and, and Kristen go to cross her feet, where do her hips go? Up, okay? So we always talk about shuffle. So just shuffle to the right for me, okay? Hips stay down. Shuffle to the left. Hips stay down. And, of course, pigeon toe. These guys have been doing it a long time, so they're probably more parallel. Younger guys, pigeon toe, it's a lot easier to move that way. Okay, uh, just I'll just go one more to Kirsten and then I'll stop. 
Good. Perfect. Okay. Any questions about that? You can ask away if you'd like. Okay. Okay. You guys done break? All right. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Let's go. Come on in. Uh, touch all four walls and then come in. Go. I said touch all four walls and it's pardon. I'm not a teacher, but that annoys the crap out of me. My wife calls me. I'm like, what? But kids call me. It's pardon. Go faster, go fast. Hey, if you're last, you got to, like, do push. Don't hit the iPad. It's expensive. If you're last, you guys got to do, like, I don't know, man, push-ups or something. Are you sure? You didn't cheat? You cheated last time. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Okay. As much as possible, we want to let the kids get reps and not be standing around. Okay? Uh, one of the easiest way to do that is use the wall. Go get a ball. Each of you. Go, go. Run, 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 run. So uh, when I was in grade 7, 8, uh, we had a, uh, in I grew up in Toronto. Um, huge volleyball school. Practice would start at like 7 a.m. or 6.30 or some ungodly hour like that. And as soon as we walked in, to the wall. And we would just be against the wall, passing and volleying nonstop. So go to the wall. Face the wall. About the black line black line. So you're going to put your pigeon toes on the black line. This might not look pretty right away. Okay. This is going to break down, but we're going to try to fix them as they go along. Okay. So here's what you guys are going to do. You're going to toss the ball up uh, about, let's say the top blue box. Okay. And all you're going to do is toss it up, let it hit there, and you're just going to catch it. So it's going to look like this. Mine. 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 Easy, eh? Yeah, volleyball is easy. Go. Go, go, go. Hey, Abby, it's not basketball. Two hands, two hands. Two hand, underhand toss. Sydney, pigeon toe. Pigeon toe, wide feet. Pigeon toe, wide feet. Pigeon. There you go. Pigeon toe, pigeon toe, pigeon toe, pigeon toe, pigeon toe. So you can just keep calling stuff out, and they'll they'll hear it, and they'll make the quick adjustment, right? Sydney, hips down, hips down. Go, oh, keep going. Hips down. Uh, name again, name again. Aubrey, that's right. Hips down, Aubrey. Hips down, hips down. So hips down is really important, but it's tough, okay? The other part of it, too, is it's hard to do hips down like this. It looks really weird. This is a lot easier, okay? Okay, stop. Take one step back to the first yellow line. Okay. The other part of this, too, the next thing they're going to do is tossing a ball. So I want them to get used to it. The first thing Abby did was shoot a jump shot. So we want to teach them how to toss properly. Okay. So this helps with that as well. Okay. So what you're going to do now, uh, face me. Put your ball down. Ready position. Begging for money. Right? Pigeon toe. Pigeon toe. Pigeon toe. Here's what I want you guys to do. Hips down or bum down. Good. Ready position. Shoulders shrugged. Elbows locked. Thumbs down. In that 45 degree angle thing, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Good. Okay. Face that wall. Yellow line. Here's what you're going to do. Toss the same spot. And now you're going to bump the ball back to the wall and then catch it. Toss. Bump. Catch. They're only doing one bump. That's all they're going to be able to do. Okay? Go ahead. Go. Oh. Abby. Abby. Two hands. And go to the ball. Go to the ball. Go to the ball. Okay. So feet first fast. Go to the ball. Go to the ball. Feet first fast. Feet there. Oh, she's got it. Aubrey's got it. Good. Aubrey's got it. Okay. See it, Kara. What do you got there? Good. And a bump. Oh, move your feet, Kara. Move your feet. Move your feet. Go, 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 go. Feet first fast. So there's a lot of running. It's all good. They'll get tired. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Run. Sydney, run. Run. Let's go. Run. Okay, walk really fast. Go. Oh, you dropped something. There you go. 
Okay, stop. Come on out here. Come on out here. Okay, put your balls away. Last person back here has to do something really, really bad. Go, go, go. Kira, don't be. Oh, you're going to be last. Go. Run, 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 run. There we go. Okay. You two are going to be partners, Kira and Abby. Okay. Aubrey and Sydney will be partners. Rock, paper, scissors. When whoever loses. Okay, who lost? That's good. It's not two out of three. Go get a ball. Go get a ball. Okay, <laughs> go get a ball. There we go. All right. If you have a ball, you're at the net. If you don't have a ball, you're in front of your partner, yellow line. Right there. Yellow line's good. Right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. So um, I'm going to have you guys move up to green line. Green line for me. Thanks. Okay. Go down to one knee. Good. Okay. Can I see your forearm pass? Good. And then this is where you can quickly check the forearm pass, make sure we're good. Um, what you're going to do, same thing you did against the wall. Okay. You're going to toss with two hands. You're going to toss it so it ends up on their arm. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration, okay? So, right, and you can move up a little bit. I know. What's more nerve-wracking, tossing or passing? Tossing? Okay. So, two hands, and you're going to try to make your partner look good, and you're going to yell mine, right? Okay. Ready? Bad tosser. How about you, ball? No, I'm going to keep going to Abby. Oh, you can give her the ball. Go ahead. Give Kira the ball. Can you catch it for me? Good. Ready? So you guys can move up if you want, okay? There you go. So, okay, go ahead and go. You guys keep doing that. Go. Good job. So, um, if you have a lot of kids, start them against the wall so they can learn how to toss, kind of, okay? Or they understand to go with two hands, underhand, and then you can do this in partners. We have them on one knee, so we can, we can work with just the upper body. Cause remember, we're separating the two, right? Okay. So just so we can work on the upper body for now. Okay, and then like I said, we're not going to stop the drill. We're just going to give constant feedback as they're doing this, okay? Whoa. Go, 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 go get your ball, go get your ball. Good, she's got it. There you go. Keep your hands below your belly button. And sorry, stop one sec. I should have said at the beginning, take five and then switch. So you guys have done more than five, so switch. There we go. Run, Sydney. Come on, Sydney. Go, go fast. Go fast. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yes. Yep. Make sure you say mine. Okay. So you're going to move up right there. Good. And catch the ball right there. Good. Now toss. There we go. Toss it a little bit higher, okay? Abby? A little bit. <laughs> Oh, put it right into her arms. A little bit lower, yep. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. You just missed her head, though. That's okay. There we go. Okay, shoulders shrugged. Make sure your shoulders are shrugged when you go. Oh, there we go. Aubrey, you got it. Good job. There we go. Go ahead. Go a little bit higher. There we go. She's almost got it. She's almost got it. So that took her, what, four tries, and she's almost got the toss part. A little backwards. That's okay. Okay, did you guys, did you guys do five and switch? Did you guys do five already and switch? So switch. Switch. Yeah. So you guys got to count out your five, right? Okay. Here's what you're going to do. After you toss, after you toss, you're going to do two jumping jacks. No, but no, no, not you guys. You guys keep staying pass. As soon as you pass, two jumping jacks. Go! Two jumping jacks. Two jumping jacks. Did you do two jumping jacks? Those are like speed jumping jacks. Good job. <laughs> you and Sydney will get along very well. Oh! So hands below belly button, right? Okay. Sydney, what'd you forget? What'd you forget? Loud. There you go. <laughs> Very good. It's five and then switch. Five and switch. Oh, nice toss. Kira, awesome toss, man. 
Okay, no, was that, sorry, that was, what was that? Was that a bird or a plane or a, oh, okay. Man. <laughs> okay, so I get, that was a good defensive move. Good job, good job. Um, okay, so you guys want to come over, I'm going to have you in the middle, and I'm going to, I'm going to have you guys do the same thing, okay? Here we go. You're going to toss. Yep. <laughs> so we're just going to do a comparative review. <laughs> if you have someone in your class who's really good and other kids who maybe are struggling a little bit, they're going to start to see what the other kids are doing and use them as an example if you want. Okay? Okay. Stop. New rule. If you, what we call, shank the ball, you have to go with your partner and get the ball. Go, run. Got to go with your partner and get the ball. Give her a high five. High five. And then come back. Come back. Yep, quick, quick, quick. We start to do stuff like that really young, because then that way they start to pick up on the whole team concept a little bit. You've got it. Aubrey, you're getting better at it. Good job. This age group, I would probably more have coach intervention, okay? They're just being real troopers and trying really hard at it. Um. <laughs> there you go. Okay, stop, stop. Everyone face me. Everyone face me. Put your ball down if you have one. Okay, so. Oh, everyone stand up. Ready position. Ready position. Good. Okay. Pigeon toe. Okay. To everyone point to your right. Point to your right. Point to Oh, point point with your right hand to your right. Got it. Ready <laughs> position. <laughs> Ready position. Literal Larry. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do. Keeping your bum down. You're going to shuffle your feet once to the right. Okay, and I'll have Coach Kristen demonstrate this real quick. One shuffle to the right. Okay, ready? Go. Good. Shuffle that way. Pigeon toe. Kira, I can see those duck feet right through Kristen. Okay, shuffle to the right. Ready position. Good. Shuffle to the left. Good. Shuffle forward. I never taught you that, but we'll see if you can. Or jump forward, either way. Okay, shuffle back. See if they can figure it out. Oh, she's got duck feet, so she's going to tip over pretty soon. There you go. All right, so you're now going to stand and pass. Okay? Okay? So if you need to move to the ball, keep your bum down and shuffle to the ball. Okay? After you toss the ball, you have to do one burpee. Do you know what a burpee is? Do you want a demo? Good. Just one burpee. Okay, go. <laughs> Abby. What's not a good idea? The burpee? Yeah. You'll be fine. If you pass really high, you'll be okay. There we go. Do your burpee. Do your burpee. See, oh, you can do the jumping jack. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Keep going. You gotta yell mine really loud. Mine really loud. Well, okay, so you gotta toss right into her arms, okay? Yeah, you're going way too high. Way too high. Okay, switch tossers and passers. I forgot to say the five again. <laughs> I just done that all the time. Abby, you got you got that burpee down pat, no problem. And you gotta give him a high five when you go by. Run back, run, 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 race back, race back, race back, race back, race back, race back. I always want him running, like just don't walk. I hate when they walk. 
So if they're running, that means they're getting tired. Like they're not. You know how they're a little quieter now. They're getting tired. Did everyone hear some of the cues the coaches just used? Okay, not swinging, keeping your arms down, shoulders down. I didn't hear what Kristen said, but. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. You guys stop. Um, before you leave, hi, uh, what you're going to do, if you have a ball, go put it in the bin. High 10 both Kristen and Kirsten with a jump, and then you can go over and sit down for a couple of minutes. No, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> when I'm running the youth programs, we've got 30 kids. That's a lot of high tending for me. <laughs> okay, the next drill, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to demo with these guys first, and then I'm going to bring these guys over to do it. So um, just side-by-side -side passing. That's all we're going to do. Um, okay, so that's all one individual, like just kind of um, one pass or one toss or straightforward stuff like that. Now we're going to introduce beside them. I know with our, um, with our fire program, which is ages 7 to 9, they actually start to get little games going. It's kind of cool. Okay, so as much as possible, we want to challenge them to do that. I think with the little guys, um, Sydney and Aubrey will probably be okay with this. Um, Kira and Abby might struggle a little bit, but we're going to challenge them and see what they can do with it. Okay. So when they're side to side passing, what we start to do different cues. So uh, we tell them before the coach tosses, they got to give each other five. Okay. So go ahead and give each other five. Look at that. <laughs> like best friends that you just met. Okay. So uh, give each other five. Um, depending on what you see from your athletes, maybe you have to do one bounce before it gets there. Maybe you can go with a full toss. Maybe you have to go catching. It depends, okay? With these guys, I'm just going to go right to defense and, and, have them, uh, and have them talk, okay? So this is where the talking part comes in. Otherwise, someone's going to get hurt, okay? Um, so just ready position. I'm just going to hit an easy down ball to you, okay? The most important part is watch their feet and the shuffle, okay? Hips are down all the time. That's ideally where you want to be, okay? Sorry. I'm going to go over on this side because I'm not, whether I'm warm or not, I don't think it really matters. But <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop an easy serve over, okay? There we go. Where is, hey, Sydney, can I borrow you for a sec? Can you just stand in the middle of the court and be a target? Why? Because I don't want to do it. That's way too much work for me. And then you're going to just bring it right over to me, or just bounce it to me, okay? Ready? Good. So you're going to see what they're doing. They're just shuffling to the ball real simple. Okay. As they get older, I don't care if they call mine. I had one athlete used to call their name. I mean, whatever. As long as they're calling something, I'm good with it, okay? If I've got to modify this and they weren't moving their feet, I would say... Let the ball bounce once. Okay, so that's what I'll do right now. And then that just forces them. So see how it forces them to kind of stop, get behind the ball and pass. It just gives them more time to think. Okay, here's another one. And th then they can think through it and pass the ball. Okay. So I just served it right between them. Okay, at if they're getting good at it, I always like to – to kind of uh, make it more difficult. As long as they know they have control, I like to make it more difficult and kind of progress. So I know I've popped some right at them and it's easy. Now I'm going to start to serve in between them. We call it seam, off to the right, off to the left, and I'm going to watch their feet, okay? Good. Okay, so you watch their shoulders as much as possible. So one thing as a coach, I just forgot completely what I was supposed to do. So before I toss the ball, give you guys, give each other five. They're probably like, oh man, we did this when we were in grade six, but that's okay. Good. 
Now, one thing I talked about that we were going to go through tonight is rep to contact ratio. So I'm going way too slow. So I'm going to go a lot faster because I know by the time she gets the ball, another one can be in. Okay, ready? Come on, Sydney. Sydney, don't mess this up, Sydney. As soon as I contact, my eyes are moving away, and I'm well, I'm looking at them. Okay, here comes the first next ball. Give each other five. Oh, so I'm challenging you. Okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Deal with it. Move your feet faster. I would not say that to a great, well, a great, I don't know, Oya, I've said some things, right? I mean, I coach you in grade six. I probably said some things, right? Yeah, I think so. We're not going to talk about that, though, because the microphone's on. Okay, here we go. Um, do you have, do you have a, do your players swing their arms way too much? Like they go to pass a ball and like the ball goes like off the ceiling? Okay. What you can do to try to work on that is, other than the cue of hands behind, uh, below your belly button, is have them pass to the target, but it's got to bounce once to the target. Okay. So I'll just show you what that looks like here. You, have, you, have you done this one before? I know you have. Kirsten's done this, this drill a lot. All right, so I'll, 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 go to <laughs> I'll go to Kirsten first, then I'll go to Kristen so you can see what it looks like. So, so regular serve, but she's got to bounce it once. Okay. Now all of a sudden, they've got to control and pull their arms back and keep control. And they're going to call the ball loud, loud, loud. The funny part is they're both, so as you get older, we specialize. They're both middles. They never pass serve past like 15. So they're actually not doing too bad, except for duck feet on the left here. Ready? So you can, s you can change your tempo, depending on how many kids you have, to really start to challenge them as much as possible. Or however angry you happen to be that day, you can really start to push. I mean, they're not calling the ball at all. Okay. Any questions about that? So that's another way you can start to work on arm swing. Just have them pull back and one bounce to the target. Okay. You guys want to pick up all? Oh, you're already doing it. Awesome. Do you play? Hey, you ever guys heard a game called 52 Pickup? So there's 50 balls here. No, no, no. Okay. Sydney's been here before. <laughs> um, okay. How are we doing for time? Let's move on to volley. Do you guys want to go grab? Um, go grab one of the balls from over there. I'm going to give you one. Here's one for you. Abby. Abby. Those belong over there anyway. So come on, uh, grab a ball from over there. You're good. You guys need to like go for a break or uh, you guys need to go for a break or bathroom. Help yourself. You can go in. I'm just going to keep going all the way through. So, Okay. Come on over. And we're going to make a circle. And you go down on one knee for me. It lats perfect. Absolutely. Okay. So, have a look at your volleyball. Okay. So, you want to have the three sections right here. What do we call them? Panels? Triangles. Everything we do is in triangles. Okay. Put the ball down right here. You want to put your two fingers on this side and your two thumbs at the very bottom, so it should look like this. Have a look at the at Kirsten and Kirsten. Kir Kirsten and Kristen and Kirsten. <laughs> they didn't see me swear there. I'm okay. So that's that's how we want them to hold the ball. Okay, um, that'll allow their wrist to move as much as possible. We want them wide, even at a young age. We always want to uh, teach the technique right, even from the very beginning, because we don't want to correct modifications we made when they're older. Okay? 
Um, I made that <laughs> that mistake. Oi is gone now, but um, the setter from her team was really, really good. But we made a modification when she was younger, and she never got rid of it. And she was really good, but that held her back. So we always want to make sure we always do the right thing at the beginning. Okay. So okay, you guys got it all good. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You're now gonna you're now gonna pick it up, and you're gonna look through your triangle. Okay. So Abby, I'm gonna have your thumbs go a little bit wider. Okay, a little bit more separate. Yeah. And Kristen's gonna have a look at it for you. Good. Okay, so when you guys volley, it's right there. Not on your forehead. We're going to find out why in a second. But right out here. Okay? Here's what you're going to do while you've got your hands up there. Only move your wrist. Okay? Just do that for 20 minutes. So at a younger age, they're going to use more of their arms when they volley. As they get older... It's just wrist. That's all it is. Okay? <laughs> what this is checking for right now, if their hands are too close together, like Abby's is, for example, you can't bend your wrist. But if you're here, now you can bend them. Okay? So by them doing this, we're just checking to see if their hands are too close together. Uh, one thing I have in my notes there, um, there's no overnight sensation for volleying the ball. It takes years, okay? When I was uh, when I was going through, I was the kid at night before I went to bed on my back volleying the ball. So my parents just getting pissed because I was hitting the ceiling. It got really loud, but on my back, just constant, constant, constant volley, okay? All right, you guys got this all figured out? Good, so you can volley perfectly now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. All right, wall. Wall is amazing for volley. Um, God. All right, let's come over to the wall. Feet on the red line. Yep. Oh, hold on to the wall. I didn't say start yet. Uh, I want your, your heels on the red line. I'm going to go heels on the red line. One thing I'm going to tell them to do, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the why. Guys, what I want to see you do left heel on the red line and your right foot yeah so right left foot right on the red line and right foot just in front of the red line okay and about th comfortably apart you're going to be right here and all you're going to do is just your wrists just this not your elbows just your wrists just your wrists there you go Okay, you got it. Go a little bit higher, right up here. Right up here. Good. Okay. So left, right, I didn't tell them why, but it, as they get older, every time you volley a ball, it's always left, right, push. We teach left, right, push, okay? Uh, when they set in particular, it's always left, right, push, we call it. I'm not going to get too much into that, but yeah. Something like that. Uh, so, we <laughs> the way we tell them, it's like you're walking down the hall, comfortable. So when you have kids that do this, I ask them, I'm like, do you walk down the hall like this? And they're like, no. Well, don't volley like that either. Some do, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's left, right. As they do it, it's left, right, push, left, right, push. Okay, so just comfortably left, right. Okay. So this is an easy one. They could do this for five, ten minutes and just check their hands and wrists, okay? Um, if they need to, so Aubrey's using a little more of her elbows. That's okay. Make sure it's up here. We don't want it here, okay? We don't want low. They're going to find out why in just a second, why we want everything up here, okay? So you're going to go a little bit. So another check you can do with them. Okay, you're going to keep volleying, okay? Keep volleying. Keep volleying. you got to be right up here, right up here. It's always a, the width of a ball between the head and the ball. So even though her hands aren't in the right position, I'm okay with that. She's getting the feel of it. She's working on it, okay? You're doing good. Good job, man. How you doing there, Robbie? There you go. Okay. 
I love what Aubrey's doing. She, she, Aubrey's just, I don't know if that's what she's like, but she's figuring stuff out. Like she's feeling through the ball. Is Aubrey a thinker? Is she a thinker? She, she's going to think through things before she, okay. All right, go, we're just talking about you. Don't worry. It's all on video. You can see it later. Okay. I like what Aubrey's doing. She's, like, she's, she's figuring it out. Okay. The younger guys are going to have a little more trouble with this, but what they're doing is totally awesome. Left, right, and they're just working on it. Sorry, I got out of your way here. They're just working away at it. We're good with that. Sydney's trying some new things. I, t I try to tell the <laughs> I again, I don't know if my humor is just getting older or not, but I tell them, don't make stuff up. We've been doing volleyball for 60 years. Hasn't changed. When you're older, you can make stuff up. <laughs> okay, so Aubrey and Sydney, keep doing your thing. Okay. Um, Kira and Abby, you're going to change one thing for me, okay? You're going to take the ball. You're going to go here and catch. Here and catch. Here and catch. Here and catch. Okay, give that a try. Okay, good. Yeah, keep trying. <laughs> That's why we use softballs. Okay, not so hard. Whoa, easy. <laughs> as, as gentle as you can, like you're throwing a glass against a wall. I hope you're not throwing a baby. Yeah. So we can modify it, let him catch it. Okay, or let him go a little bit higher, whatever the case may be. Okay, you guys, put your balls away, go for break. Run, run, run. Last person to Tammy has to walk home, and you guys live in Stratford, so you better hurry up. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to demo with you guys against the wall, okay? You can use that ball. Uh, actually, uh, I guess right here, right? Okay, so the after. <laughs> um, volley, okay? So, again, as they get older, it's just wrist. Go ahead. So um, you guys don't specialize at your level. With our setters, they actually have their own practice time uh, uh, separate from the team completely. They will do wall setting for over 20 minutes a night. Okay. Um, now these are two middle blockers. So I'm going to run them through a bit of the setting. <laughs> They're laughing already because they know it's, it kind of hurts sometimes. So um, if you have older kids okay, who you know have control, they're your setters, whatever, now you can start to challenge them a little bit, okay? So guys, what I'll have you just shuffle one to the left, shuffle to the right, shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right, okay? So we start with that, shuffle left, right, and then we'll say um, stop shuffling, and then you're going to go down four bricks, up four bricks, so we're not bringing them to the point where they're hurting their knees, just low enough. You're going to notice, you're going to notice they're both middle. Um, <laughs> they're actually doing pretty good. They're all, they're doing pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then would you guys know how to do short, high, short, high, short, high? Short, short, high. So it's, so it's going to be short, high, short, high. Short, short, high. Okay, <laughs> you can do that sequence. That one I really like. The other one we can do with them too. Uh, about this far away from the wall, left, right. Uh, the way we show it to them is right arm here, parallel to the wall, here, and side set. Ball in front, so not ball here, ball in front, wrist only. We'll have the setters do this for like three minutes, not a word of a lie, just constant. The, the more, the way we look at setters, they touch the ball every single play. Uh, you guys can switch around and go the other direction now. Uh, they touch the ball every single play. They just have to touch the ball more in practice. Okay, stop. The next one, they're going to be really good at this one. Back set. I'm not very good at this one, but it's here. Here, I'll just show that's what you have to do. Now go ahead. Yep. <laughs> if you have a, a, a few setters, this gets to be a lot of fun, and I challenge them. First one to do it tonight, uh, 
50 times in a row doesn't have to do with the next night. I don't know. Whatever. Do you want to do the one where you go around in a circle? Okay, go. <laughs> we'll see if we can get a setter in here next time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay, you guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Just a quick time check. I never gave an end time on this. Uh, I'm going to go till about 8.30, 8.45. If you guys need to leave, that's totally cool. No worries at all. Hey, ladies. Get over here. You guys have your water break and everything? All right, cool. Did you guys give a high 10 to your coaches before you left? Did you guys pardon? Did you guys No? You're like my kid taking out the garbage. Isn't you knew it's Thursday. Go give a high 10. No, Kyle. Go give you guys a high 10. There we go. Just so I didn't forget. All right. Um, everybody get a ball. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Ball. Ball, 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 ball. All right. So everyone show me how you're going to hold your ball when you volley. Everyone quickly show me. Show me, show me, show me. Okay, so you're going to go that wide. That wide. Uh, go yep, right there. Good. See what she just said? I said go wide. She goes really wide. I'm like really wide. So if I'm coaching her, my key word I would remember for her, for Aubrey, would be, hey, get real wide. Okay. Every kid has their own cues that they can think through, and we try to keep that individual for them. You're like your sister, man. Let me see. Okay, see their side? Okay, go real wide, just like the – go real wide. There you go. <laughs> yep, you've got it. Perfect. Good. Here's what you're going to do, and you're going to do it on that side. Kirsten, can you move the ball card of the way for me, please? Okay, on that side, actually, stay here because the camera's here. Sorry, Kirsten, I forgot the camera was here. Stay inside the blue lines. Okay, that's the court. Okay. You're going to throw up the ball as high as you can, yell mine as loud as you can, and catch it. Wait, no, no, I don't need a demonstration yet. Catch it, the ball right here, and look through your triangle. Arms length apart, this is where it gets dangerous. Separate. Okay. Are you losing another tooth? Come here, I'll take it out for you. Okay, throw it up as high as you can. Fine! Get under the ball and catch it with your triangle. Go! Straight up. You're really challenging yourself, Kira. Under the ball. There you go. Hey, let it bounce. Let it bounce. Guys, up. Let it bounce. Fine! And then there. There you go. Really high, really high, Abby. Good. Abby's working on her running volley. Good. Go ahead, Aubrey. Let's see it. Let's see it, Aubrey. Oh, you can throw higher than that. Try, Aubrey, try to hit a light. The insurance covers it. Go ahead. As high as you can. There you go. Get under it. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. Mine, mine, mine. There, you got it. Aubrey, it's it. Right there, you got it. So we've got every kid doing something, okay? They're all talking. They're all getting under the ball. There's no standing around. Okay, stop. Throw it up. Bounce. Catch. Watch this. Once you catch it, throw it back up. Go! Catch it and then do it again. Yeah. I'm going to throw, um, when they volley, I'm going to throw in the key word right now. Okay? When you throw it up there, palms to the sky. Palms to the sky. Palms to the sky. Bounce. And palms to the sky. Push. Let me see it. Push. Palms to the sky. Good. She's got it. She's got palms to the sky on volley. Okay? Catch it. And let me see. Nope. Sydney. Let me see Aubrey. And we're Aubrey's got it. She's got it. Good. Do you want to do that one more time? We're going to all watch you because you've got it. You've got it dead on. Let's see it one more time. Catch it. Palms to the sky. Okay. 
Um, okay, girls, balls away. Go see Tammy real quick. And you guys are coming back very, very shortly. Can I have you guys demo for me? I'll, one ball is good. I just need one ball. We're good. I just side by side is cool. Um, okay, when we teach volley, we teach palm to the sky. So we don't teach, if I can show it sideways, we don't teach this. We don't teach this. It, it's controlled palms to the sky because as they get older, any other weird movement is going to put additional spin on the ball, and we just don't want that. Okay? So it's controlled palms to the sky. Thumbs back, kind of. At their age, they will not be able to release the ball like this. The thumbs are going to come forward. As long as they keep it back to the or if it's comes hard at them, the thumb just breaks and all the bones go with it. Okay? So at least parallel or even back is okay as well. Okay? Release palms to the sky. So we'll have these guys do it. In your pitchers, um, you're going to see uh, three, I think three generations of uh, USA Volleyball national team setters. Um, we call it neutral. With these guys you're going to hear, we're going to call it superwoman. Okay? So uh, ready position for volley. So we teach superwoman right here. Okay, ball's going to come in, they're going to here, and their wrists are like springs, okay? Again, this is years of training, but this is what it should look like. So I'll just go one after another, okay? Neutral, and then can you guys uh, do me a favor and freeze after your release, okay? Okay, so Kirsten's got palms to the sky, okay, clean ball out of her hands. And then uh, they're they're probably doing it, but you're gonna notice left right, okay, left right with their feet, good, straight, okay, um, very common. You'll see this. I'll tell. I'll ask them wh where you flying to, right? Straight ahead, palms to the sky, okay, good. And stop and volley. Always stop and volley. Uh, the, uh, with the younger guys, always have them freeze, because that's where you can walk up. So I'll, um, I'll have you just freeze after this one, Kirsten. Okay, so then you can walk up and say, okay, Kirsten, do this or do this. When they freeze, you've got them, and you can make adjustments as you need to. Okay? All right, girls, you ready? Let's go. Yes, please. Thank you. Can you put it in that ball bin right there for me? Awesome. Um, get back in the same two partners you were in. You guys and you guys. And then do you want to grab a ball? And I'll give you that ball right there. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Here, switch balls. Go. Kirsten's the details, the details person in the club. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be, that's good. Uh, Abby, you're going to be at the net on the green line. A little bit closer to that. Cool, that's good. Um, I want you to come up a little bit, but right there, and one knee for me. And you're going to take one knee for me, okay? Okay, so, uh, remember your ready position you did for forearm pass? Remember that? Okay, ready position is the same thing. Or we have a ready position for volley, and it's up here. Show me superwoman. Do you guys know superwoman? Okay, good. So, she, right away, she's got superwoman, okay? That is good good enough for this age group right here. That's cool. She's got hands up. She's got neutral. I'll take it. Okay. Sydney's got it. Done this before. Flat hands. Okay. So if you've got a kid who's kind of got like weird wonky hands, okay, we'll say, give me 10. Flat hands. Okay. That's it. She's got it. Okay. Flat hands, superwoman, whatever you want to call it. Okay. What you guys are going to do, and you guys should be okay. We might have a coach intervene here. You're going to toss the same way you were before. All you guys are going to do down here, you're going to start here and catch it. That's it. Okay? Once you catch it, you can then, and this is the key word I'm going to use, you can then push it back 
to the person who's talking, okay? You're going to push back. Five times and switch. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what? Do one of you want to go toss for them? Yeah. And you know what you can do? Would one of you mind tossing for these guys? They're going to struggle with this. Or you can help her toss. Whichever one you want to do. See if you can help her toss and then go from there. Okay. Good. Okay. So when uh, after you. So right away. I'm going to tell her freeze after she catch uh, freeze after she pushes. Okay, so you're going to freeze after you push, okay? Good. Okay, so when you do that, I don't want you to slap me. Slap me? That's not cool, is it? Okay, good. So I just want you to once you catch it, push it back through, okay? Okay, so you're going to call mine, and you're going to freeze after you push, okay? And you got to catch it first. got to catch it first. Uh, Sydney, two hands. Okay. Yep, and now, remember you said you wanted real wide? So, that's her keyword. That's what I'm going to use. She, she got that right away. Now, you're just going to, you're going to push it back. Okay, and when you push, palms to her, okay? That's okay. Get real wide, get real wide, and push. Yep, go ahead. Okay, she control. She's pushing. Um, and it's push we want because when, if you think push, it's this. Good, get real wide, and push. Good, there you go, good. And you're going to call as soon as she releases it, yell mine as loud as you can. Good. Okay, so when that... Uh, give her two more, okay? Go Superwoman. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Get that back to her. Go Superwoman. Okay, so I'm going to tell her when that ball comes in, keep your Superwoman wide. Keep it real wide. Okay, go ahead. Oh, she got it. She got closer. She, she moved closer when the ball came in to catch it, so. Good, get real wide. It's better, it's better. Nice and switch. That's much better, Aubrey. Good job. How are these guys doing? Good. So if uh, I know, hey, we got a we got a one to one ratio here. Awesome. If it's one coach, um, you can put the kids side by side, and one coach does the tossing. Okay. If you have a bunch of kids and one coach, just work through the toss part. Do a little more wall work so they can work on the tossing. Tossing becomes a skill in volleyball. Right. Another thing you can do as well uh, with a really high coach to player ratio, you can be at the net, side by side kids, toss, whichever kid gets it great, and then they switch and follow their ball. Okay, and just run them through as fast as you can. Same sort of tempo we did over there. So with these guys, with the younger guys, this is probably as far as I would go with them right now, is just push. Okay, left, right, push. These guys I would start to challenge, so I'm going to have you stand up. You guys keep doing your thing, okay? So what you're going to do now, same, identical same thing. Okay, same thing when you come back here. But you're going to catch it standing and then push. Okay? So you need to be a bit of a higher toss. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Wasn't the shuffle, shuffle part. <laughs> yeah, but I want like a, a higher loop. Yeah. So say I said higher, she launched it over her head. I forgot to say, oh, perfect. Oh, got to catch it. Got to catch it. I forgot to say it's got to be a big loop. Good. Now, okay, so that was awesome. So now I want you want to, when it's here, look at my feet. I want you to go left, right, push. Okay, try that out. Yeah, exact opposite though. So it's going to be left, right. Yes, you got it. Yep, you got it. Good. Yep, and left. Yep. Is so science and math kid? Science and math kid? No? Okay. And then... Okay, so see what you did there? Okay, you were like, Ugh! 
like that. So make sure you finish right off your right foot. Okay, but everything else is good. Good. That's awesome. That's that is totally good enough for someone who's never done it before. That's awesome. Okay. Big looping toss for. Yep. Left, right. Yeah, there we go. Sydney's got it too. Good. Don't knock over the donuts. Good, catch it, and release. Okay, just to show you how it could look, okay, no catching, just volley the ball. Okay, so here's what I want you to do, same thing. R no, I want you to go palms higher to the sky. Okay? Go. Cool. I like to... S I <laughs> I don't like spending a, uh, a ton of time on the basic catch and throw. I need to see if it's working or not. Okay, so I need to see if they're starting to figure this out or not. Okay, and I'd like to see it go through both groups. So take one more Sydney and then switch. Because I want to see what both athletes will do. So she's getting the push. And she's getting the left right as well. Right? So you're just going to volley it. Just volley it away. Good. Ne she's never done it before. Like, th this is good. Right? Right, so uh, real wide, real wide with your hands and fingers, and then opposite with your feet. Yeah, and just volley it away. There you go. Hey man, she's never done it before. This is not bad, right? Aubrey, you're doing great, man. Yeah. So if this is my gym, and and I'm sorry, I have not even been looking over at you guys. Are you guys good? Like, is is she jump setting yet? Good. Okay, good. So if she's got it. I would use her to demonstrate in the gym, and I would start to coach to that level. I would not, I would not coach to a different level, we'll say, okay? Um, I would definitely go, if that's where we're at, we're going to keep going at that level, right? Because everyone else will eventually catch up to that. Good. Okay, switch. Okay, take two and switch, and then I'm going to do one more thing, and we'll get these guys out of here. Okay, Sydney and Aubrey switch. I know, I make the rules though, so switch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my God, I'm so serious. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to toss real high, you're going to jump, and then set the ball. Go ahead. So you're going to jump and set the ball. Jump and volley the ball. Jump and volley the ball. There's a reason, I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a second. Go a couple more. So I want you to jump and then volley the ball. Good. Okay, so is that kind of cool? Jumping and volleying, jump setting? Okay, so I'm not suggesting you do that, but she's kind of got the push thing down, which is like really cool for that level. I was just curious if she could figure out jump volley. Because if you're starting to identify athletes for different positions and stuff like that, I know now that this kid will try it and try to figure it out and play around with it. Okay? Good. Okay. So you guys can uh, give each other a high 10. 
put your ball away and then head over to Tammy there. Uh, you know what? And the <laughs> it's funny because we, we s like I said, in Canada we have an issue where w our kids can do drills so well. Then they go up to higher levels, and they c they can't think through things. We we have the best drill runners in the world. We can't compete, right? So when I said to Aubrey, "Hey, just jump and then set the ball," or, j or "Jump and volley," she's like, "What?" I said, "Just jump and volley the ball, and just see what happens, right? Could be a little bit fun." Okay, can I demo? So a couple of things uh, I'm going to end on a couple of things just to help you uh, facilitate the learning curve a little bit with certain things. Um, take a pylon. So as they get older and they don't bend their elbows at all, it's just volley, you're just with their wrist. One thing you can teach them is, um, you, you remember doing this. Kirsten's pretending like she didn't do this before. Oh, she's got it. There we go. So up at your forehead. Okay. Tennis ball, all they have to do, you're going to toss, and they've got to catch the tennis ball with the pylon, okay? Because when they volley, we want the ball away from their head. The volley doesn't happen here. It always happens here. So, ready? A little bit hard, right? Kirsten always had this problem, but she's getting better at it with the pylon work, right? So, up. That was it. So good. See, now she's got her hands away from her head. Good. There we go. If these were not dollar store tennis balls, I would bounce it to them. There we go. I will say I'm going to pick on Kirsten a little bit. Kirsten always did volley down here a little bit, so that's where you're going to see her drop that a little bit. I'm actually not picking on you. I actually did do that. <laughs> There we go. See how she did that? So instead of getting under the ball like this, she moved the pylon in front of her. That's just, before she was with me, she was a different coach, and she just never broke her bad habit. So, <laughs> Ready? Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys can lose the pylons. Um, these bands are a coach's best friend. And the players love them too. So, if you got a problem with a kid who's swinging arms and the one bounce thing is too advanced, we can take. Yeah, put him around your head. <laughs> Maybe Kirsten, I'll uh, I'll have you beat. Yeah. I'll even use the volley light ball. So. <sighs> so what this allows them to do, and like I, I, I have bags of these bands on different lengths. Okay. Um, this just corrects them. You leave, it's got, it whips you back, okay? You swing, it rips you back, okay? So uh, you can just buy like a box of this and cut it up one day. And uh, you can have them on one knee. The lower body is just not important right now, but it's here. And it just, as much as possible, we want them to feel what we're teaching, okay? Oh, shoot, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> there you go, okay? So if... It, um, I'm going to push you to that side a little bit, okay? So if she goes out, it's gonna br she'll feel that come back. Because it's tighter, she'll feel it come right back to her. Okay? Okay, I'll try it. Oh. <laughs> and then it's great because you know the kid's doing it wrong. You'll start to hear whining and complaining. Because if they go up here, this thing like goes right up their back. And it's, it's just not pleasant for anybody. So, but this is, it's meant to teach, okay? It whips them right back. Um, do you want to put it around your ankle? Uh, the kid who, the kid who um, keeps coming up with their hips, put it around their ankles, okay? If they keep doing it, they're just going to trip. They shouldn't, they shouldn't hurt themselves. But this will teach them to stay wide with their feet. So I'm just going to go one shuffle to the left, one to the right, go this side first. Good. <laughs> I'm going to hear about this one later. <laughs> I'll try. I'm, so I'm, I'm not. Okay, so the reason why I spend time on tossing with little kids, I'm not real good at it. Um, but anyway, that's okay. Ready? Good. Ready? So now all of a sudden with the band, she's got to keep control of her feet. Okay. 
Kirsten, can you grab um or Kristen, can in my bag there's like a black narrow bag with a ball pump in it. Can you just bring it over? Just dig through. It's it's not like a woman's purse. You can just dig through it, no problem. That's the one. Yeah. You can you can lose the band. Um someone was asking about blocking. Uh we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this with the band. Make it really small, like a small amount, put it around their wrists, and that'll teach them to stay wide. You can use bands for everything, they're great. Another thing we've got I don't even know where I got these. Sometimes you leave a coach on their own and they're bored. We call these setting thumbs. I think I went to the dollar store, got some hair bands. These, uh, I think these are used for basketball, these white things. These basketball type things. Okay. This will help. The setters hate it. But damn, they look good when it's done. Okay. So we'll put them on their thumbs and they got a volley. So this will keep their thumbs back. So dollar store head, um, hair bands. And I think you these off Amazon. They're called basketball thumbs. Tie them around. And off you go. Okay, so it'll just fix it that way. So that's another thing you can do. Can you grab two pool noodles out of there, please? Last one. Amazon's a great place for coaching stuff. <sighs> uh, thank you. Do you want a forearm pass for me? Put these under your armpits. Okay. Uh, the kid that's swinging their arms, or the kid that... Uh, can't figure out shoulder shrugged, elbows locked, thumbs down, 45 degree angle. They're going to be picking these up a lot. So if it goes well, okay, we're really not concerned where the ball goes. We're concerned they're getting the, the technique right. So do it wrong. I'll go that side. Okay, so now I know they're not keep, they're not angling their shoulders. Okay, they're angling their hands and they're losing control. Okay, trying to think what else to. What are, what are the things that I, we're going to call it coach you with, not tortured you with, co coach you with. What are the little things that we've done? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it for tonight. So uh, I'm just trying to think if I've got uh, lots of pictures in here. If you want to see some of the stuff we taught. Um, resources. So if you go to our website, uh, we've done, we're going to keep doing it. I'm on the last page right now. We're going to keep doing them. We've done, we did three webinars last January, February. Uh, I did one on on setting in particular. Okay, so some really cool things. I did some video review online there. Kristen did one. Kristen's real smart. She spoke for 45 minutes on your shoulder. Okay, all I know is shoulder high hit like this. She broke it all down with pictures. Okay, so if you want to understand shoulders, shoulder injury, etc., awesome. And there's another one from uh, Melissa Bartlett, who's the head coach at Western with the women's team. Uh, she talked about uh, keeping your team aggressive, stuff like that. Okay, so that webinar is on there as well. We do have a YouTube channel. We, when we run our athlete clinics, uh, your athletes can bring their coach if they want. That's totally cool. Um, Art of Coaching is really good. And if you're ever looking for stuff on YouTube, it's a wealth of stuff. Okay? And, of course, like us, love us, follow us wherever okay any questions there's no questions at all tonight so any questions no okay thank you very much for coming